What is going on guys, it is Sir Mac here today, and I unfortunately, at the start of this video, have to get the attention of people like this. Yes, seriously, people like that. These people are spastically commenting about an individual that was kicked from sore a week before the tragic incident of attempting to look cool on camera. Allow me to begin with this. Please watch the whole video before commenting because I actually have to critique a person's attempt at defaming Sora's reputation through sweeping almost everything under the rug that actually happened while telling people a cynical and extremely fabricated side of a story. But the thing is though, it wasn't a story until they purposefully victimized themselves while acting so oblivious to the degree of manipulating their viewers. The event I have to speak on in this video actually, believe it or not, happened six months ago. The video was recently put out two weeks ago and I'm sitting here today making a video about it six months after it originally happened. I'm disappointed that I have to sit here and do this, but because of someone holding a grudge against Sora and myself for mistakes of their own, I had to address it somewhere. To those watching who actually viewed the video that I'm going over in this, I really hope you don't automatically assume the worst and watch this whole video here because fucking hell, man. This is just so stupid. If you haven't seen the video, good. And, uh, if you have seen the video, that's uh, actually really good too, because I'm about to debunk what blatant bullshit you may have heard. What some viewers may have interpreted from the video that they have seen was fed by absolute bullshit, and I hope to change some of your guys' thought process on this, due to the fact that our viewers gravitated to this person's channel, due to them using our name and their tags and everything else all over their channel, it blew up somehow, somewhere. And with that, this person somehow turned delusional propaganda into some viewers' reality, so I feel as if I'm obligated to shed some light on it. Ever since the beginning of Sora, we've always had to drop and kick members from the team. That's always happened. There were always several reasons why a member was dropped from the team, but sometimes those reasons may have Never been publicized. Some people ask why? It's simple. It is nonsensical to shine light on a negative situation that people could not only misconstrue but also turn it into a more negative situation which could affect both parties and just be an annoyance to everybody. And the best way to avoid that unwarranted controversy is simply to just ask the member to leave. Simple solution of just saying sayonara and just coming to the mutual agreement that everything's gonna be fine and we'll figure it all out. Yeah, figure it out! You know, the majority of the time when a member is kicked from the team, they're usually kindly asked to leave on their own behalf so that they can avoid stating that they were dropped from the team in the first place. That happened here, and the thing is, is that person chose not to accept this harsh reality of not being in the team that they perceive as only a gaming organization. So anyway, back in October, I kicked this person from Soar twice. You may have only heard about the second time. Anyway, they made this video about it recently. I kicked them in October. Emphasis on kicking them in October. The first time I kicked them, it was for many reasons, and some of those reasons were due to this person's personal relations not working within the team, some serious attitude and egotistical issues, and in all honesty, their personality just did not align and mesh with the rest of the team. And a little fun fact, I actually addressed all of these issues with this person before I even recruited them to store because of the concerns of numerous people that came to me about it when the idea was initially proposed. I gave them the chance, and it didn't work out, plain and simple. I gave them a second chance, an opportunity to make it better for themselves within the team. And that wasn't only due to the reason that they made me feel horribly bad by bringing up the most devastating and worst pity card that anyone could use, which was the fact that their mother recently passed away. <laughs> But it really just goes to show what kind of person you have to be to do that. And while I'm here, I just want to say this was brought up multiple times within the team. If an argument were to break out, this would be used as an excuse. A good example of this was when a member called out this person for using setup clips in a video and the person couldn't handle being called out by that, then decided to use the excuse that you shouldn't be able to criticize me after the passing of someone so close to me and my family. But, like I said, it wasn't just for that reason that I gave them the second chance, it was also for the reason that it seemed as if they really wanted the spot. But clearly they didn't. Next week, they live-streamed them smoking in the most pitiful way, like they straight up don't even know how to smoke, but for some reason they just found it to be a necessity to show the world and their viewers that they smoke weed, and this is what they do on a daily basis in the great land of Canada. Oh yeah, by the way, WHERE'S THE CRIMINAL LIES?! LET'S GO! Get it, boys. Oh my god. Huge shout out to Manic Depression. Give Man's been watching for fucking an hour shirt. and a half. What the hell? Give him a second one, Mitch. Huge shit. What? Give him a second shout out. What the hell? Yo, there's. Oh my god. I don't know what happened, but all the weed fell into the fucking. Yeah. 
It's yeah. not my fault. There's literally none in this be Oh my god. I fucked up, boys. Can we try my grinder yet? Alright, well, that was fucking... What the hell? It's not even coming out now. <laughs> Dude, I I do not give a shit if you smoke. I don't care who smokes. But if you're gonna make a fool out of not only yourself, but my organization, which is an actual business, come on, dude. Like, good joke, man. If you wanna smoke off camera, by all means, that's your decision. I don't care. But this goes hand in hand with a company you're trying to work for or a job you're trying to get. They're going to do due diligence on you. And if you have a video of yourself smoking that was posted to your social medias that is still classified as illegal in many places and parents to this day still profess to their children that they do not want them indulging in it, is that really hard to comprehend? Come on, that's not good for a business. There's a huge difference between joking about it and sitting there on camera smoking it. <sighs> Mmm, I love this purple derp of smoker work. Mmm, this is some bomb ass, dank ass stuff that I'm smoking out of this bee right now, man. Oh man, I bought this for $35 a gram. But, come on, there's a huge difference there. Anyway, to proceed. So, I watched this in Nuda's room live. Yes, I live with Nuda. We all live together here in the store house. There's about eight of us living here right now. And a lot of us were chilling in Nuda's room, hanging out. And we were just browsing through videos and streams and, and so happened to come across this person's stream. We watched this happen live, so we took action on the spot. And for some reason, people think it's bad for us to act accordingly immediately. Like, you think it's bad for us to stop that immediately rather than let it sit there and just wait for that moment to hop into a call with them and, you know, just really, just really get it out of them. Why they decided to do that on stream with with SOAR branding, claiming to be a part of SOAR. It's bad for us to stop that on the spot, you know? I get it. Let's let it get leaked and let people see someone with SOAR branding smoking on live stream. Brilliant. Absolutely the most genius idea ever. Like, only the people with the biggest thoughts and most innovative ideas would actually be able to decide that on the spot. Dude. So Nuda told them the deal on that live stream, but they didn't quite get it. They started to become a little skitsy about it. Like, what? What, 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 what the hell? Nuda, what the hell, bro? Oh my gosh. Relax, man. Getting all serious. He's getting all serious. Relax. What the hell? Bro, I have the sickest video going up tomorrow. Don't even worry. Sickest video going up tomorrow. It's literally tobacco as well, to be honest. So, I don't even know what you're saying. I don't know what happened, but all the weed fell. Weed, 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 weed. And, uh, instead of me just full on sprinting downstairs, flustered and as frantic as I could, this needs to be said from my YouTube channel in the name of Soar Max. I need to assert myself here. I need to. I need this. Yeah! I, I, I just typed on the computer in front of me. Hey, dude. You're kicked. Sorry. You fucked up. This is your fault. Goodbye. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, guys. I mean, I get it. I'm a pussy. I'm a huge pussy. I'm scared of the confrontation, and I'm scared of this individual. What the hell? Kick from sore. Yeah, we're fucking kick from sore in the face, you bitch-ass tricker. <laughs> like, guys, come on. There were a couple other things in the video that they made that I wanted to address here. And we didn't try to take down their Twitter. Why on earth would we do that? Maybe this could be taken into consideration. Maybe there are some viewers of ours that were on the border of being white knights like your viewers. Maybe one of them took 30 seconds out of their day to just report your Twitter. Oh God, well I'll be damned. They mentioned over and over again. I don't want to stir the pot. You know, I'm not that type of guy to just start drama. I don't want to stir up any drama. You guys know me, okay? I don't like controversy. I don't like drama. I hate all that sort of stuff, okay? Let's be real here. No one is that oblivious anymore. If you've been on the internet at all, you know that when you try to sit there and say you don't want to stir drama, that drama will be provoked, let alone mentioning it multiple times. Quit trying to portray yourself as a saint. Are you kidding me? In their video, they tried to scrutinize me, other store members, and, it, and it's just so funny to see this. Like, this video is truly a work of art. As a wise man once said, Sir Max, the leader, wouldn't know a good live stream if it freaking He has very poor judgment. <laughs> Let me just say it now, guys. By the way, that's my opinion. Thanks, bro. Really appreciate you sharing your opinion. Brofist. Just goes to show the kind of people we're dealing with here, okay? And another thing, I don't hate you. I have never professed my quote-unquote hate 
for you to anyone. Another leader promised you a gamma sponsorship. That leader was General. General hasn't been in source since July. I'm not obligated to get you a gamma sponsorship. I get gamma sponsorships for people when I can. It's not up to me. It's not in my power. I'm not gamma. I am not G Fuel Energy. And I replied to every single one of your messages, posted tweets for you on the store, Twitter, retweeted tweets. I tried to do everything I could. I tried to get you a full screen partnership. I was doing as much as I could for you while tolerating you to the best of my ability. And the only time I did not reply to you was the 9th, 10th, and 11th time that you pestered myself and the rest of the store leaders for a gamma sponsorship. On a final note, it is really easy to read people, guys, especially when they're making it even easier for you. When you have to claim how good of a person you are time and time again, it's usually not the case, and it's usually a fat sign of narcissism, self-esteem, and insecurity issues, and just flat-out total douchebaggery. Like, let's be fucking real here. And anything else that was brought up in that video is pretty much not even worth my time bringing up here. It is just so deluded and out of this world. Like, it's crazy to me, dude. I, I, I think we can all conclude here that we're dealing with an alien sent here on a human case study and a study of other life. It's just a huge experiment, guys. Ah, fucking hell. It's just something new every day. It's something new every day. It really is. It's incredible to see what kind of people that are out there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace. Oh my god. We got a lot of Goonga here. Goonga, 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 Goonga. Is this your room or no? Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Of course it's my room. Who like else's room is this? Yeah. The hell? Where the bee go? Hashtag Swarmich hits a bee? What? Weed discount code? Re? Just goes to show the kind of people we're dealing with here, okay?